I had a question from a member of my Facebook boxing group called Mario. So shout out to him. Mario asked, how does Wilder combat his technical shortcomings and how come he hasn't managed to in his relatively lengthy professional career? It's a good question. How does Wilder combat his technical shortcomings? First of all, well, Wilder is tall, rangy, fast, sneaky. He has good reflexes, good stamina and punches extremely hard. He also has a big heart. These are the attributes that have allowed him to get away with all his technical shortcomings. Now, whether his technical shortcomings can be rectified, I'm not sure about because I don't think it's a simple case of teaching Wilder correct technique. I don't think it's as simple as that. I think the reason, the main reason why Deontay Wilder is as wild as he is and why his technique is as sloppy as it is, is because of Wilder's mental and emotional makeup. And this is proven by the fact that there are many Deontay Wilder fights, like when he fought Johan Duopa, when he fought Stavern for the first time, etc. Where Wilder technically isn't making that many mistakes for the majority of those fights. It's only when he sees those guys hurt or thinks he has them hurt, that's when he flies in. He gets this massive surge of adrenaline and his technique goes out of the window. So the key to Deontay Wilder fixing his technique and polishing himself up technically is controlling his emotions and controlling that burst of adrenaline that he gets when he sees a guy hurt. That's the key. I'm sure Mark Breland teaches him correct technique and has been teaching him correct technique for years. It's not just about what he's taught from a technical point of view. It's about can you teach Deontay Wilder to control his emotions, control that hot-headed streak that he has. I think that is the key and I think that's going to be very difficult actually. Deontay Wilder is an extremely energetic, extremely hot-headed character. And he has this burst of adrenaline which is unrivaled among heavyweights. The guy only weighs 215, 220 pounds. But yet, when he gets his burst of adrenaline, he's able to throw 240 pound men around the ring like ragdolls. People like Luis Ortiz and Gerald Washington. He was able to shove these guys around when he got his burst of adrenaline. Despite the fact they're 25 pounds heavier than he is. This facet of Deontay Wilder's game is a double-edged sword because on one hand it gives him this incredible energy this incredible burst of adrenaline which he does use to overwhelm opponents Luis Ortiz was overwhelmed yeah Wilder was doing all kinds of crazy stuff in front of him and making all kinds of technical errors but the sheer force and the ferocity of his attacks is overwhelming because most heavyweights just don't have that kind of burst of adrenaline in them that Wilder has. So he can overwhelm people with it to the point where they, they're not even capable of taking advantage of the, the mistakes he's making because they're just so overwhelmed by the ferocity of the attack. So he can use it to his benefit in that way but at the same time he is making lots of technical mistakes while he gets this burst of adrenaline loads of mistakes loads of defensive flaws so it's a double-edged sword and if he does manage to rectify it I think it will be as he gets older simply because I think he's going to calm down more he's going to lose that youthful exuberance that he has now I know the guy's in his early 30s but he has tremendous youthful exuberance and when he when that youthful exuberance starts to wane when he reaches maybe his you know after the age of 35 and whatnot and that youthful exuberance starts to wane I think you'll see Wilder 
looking more technically polished and more controlled but at the same time that overdrive gear that turbo boost which we see him have now that is also going to be dampened so that's going to be a double-edged sword too he might be more more controlled but he's also going to lose some of his pace lose some of his ability to overwhelm opponents as he becomes more controlled and more polished so hopefully i've answered the question as succinctly and concisely as possible so you get what i'm saying but i, I guess i didn't answer it directly in, in the sense that i haven't answered whether i think wilder can fix his technical deficiencies um, as I say, I think it's to do with controlling his emotions and his mind rather than teaching him anything technical. Whether that can be achieved, we'll see. You know, I, I don't know. It's, it's difficult to try and train someone emotionally. You can train them physically, but training them emotionally is a much more difficult skill. I don't know if there's anybody in his team. I don't know if there's anybody in boxing who could really do it. Because Wilder is so emotional. He's so, he's so hot-headed. A very, very hot-headed guy. <laughs> when he sees blood, anyway. He can be cool and he can keep it patient when he hasn't hurt you. And we saw that for the first few rounds against Ortiz. We saw that for the first few rounds against Gerald Washington. He kept it patient and he was calm. But as soon as he has you hurt, as soon as he has an opportunity, he just goes wild. And he gets this surge of adrenaline, which he himself cannot control. And uh, as I say, that's a double-edged sword. And that is something which makes him dangerous. Other heavyweights don't have it to the level that he has it. So, um, yeah, hopefully I <laughs> answered the question in a roundabout way. Again, shout out to Mario. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about Mario's question. How come Wilder hasn't managed to rectify his technical shortcomings when he's had a pretty long professional career and can those shortcomings be rectified i've answered it as best i can give me your answers in the comment section below all right it's happening i'm out